welcome back to feral art um this evening i am going to attempt something that i saw on harmony house arts um it is a combination blowout and flick and spin um you know common sense tells me i probably should have practiced the flick and spin first but I'm an Aries. I jump into everything head first. Um, so we're going to be working on a Artist Loft 12 by 24 inch canvas, level three. Um, I have my back caked and pinned, and my sides and edges are painted with Windsor and Newton Windsor Blue. Our colors. That I'm going to be using are golden Prussian blue, which I was gifted for Christmas by a very nice Santa's elf, and Deco Art Satin Enamels in Ultra White. White, Ultra, Ultra White. Anyway, um, there's our base coat, and here's our satin enamels, and that's all we're going to use. I used my um, recipe for my satin enamels from uh, Harmony House, and that is two parts American Floetrol and one part satin enamel. So, without further ado, let's get with it. If you had a glimpse inside my head, you'd know Shooting pool, 
Cracker Jack, take off now and don't look back, but hey, don't you want to play? Hold on, sugar, why you look so sad? Come on now, mama, ain't nothing here so bad. You got fast cars, movie stars, party on down. Mary Jane, good cocaine, laying it down there to me. Double down, throw some dice, take off now, don't think twice, but hey, now don't you want to play? Baby, go on. we flick from I think here we shall see I don't know it all sounds very interesting it's all very scientific ha. or here maybe here Paint literally goes everywhere. 
Let that flow back in. See if it will ease. Okay, well, that's happening. cheating, a little helping is not a bad thing. Interesting. Um, as you spin, of course, your blowout kind of gets um, spread out, which is okay. I mean, I guess that's what it's supposed to do. I, as I said, I've never done a flick and spin, so I'm kind of guessing here, but I did get some pretty neat little flick lines. Um, I can see that I'm going to be babysitting sides and edges for some time though. So let me take care of this for a while <laughs> and I will uh, bring in for some wet results. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Watching out for number one You gotta slow down Look around you, son Today is just today And not tomorrow Where you're going You can rest your head Where you're going Easy. 
easy now You gotta get going Easy now Be hard working So you can be deserving of the rest that you are given. You gotta slow down and look around you, son. Give a lot and live a little. Work with what you got. Okay, here we are with our wet result. Our lovely Prussian blue background and our white deco, Americ deco art Americana uh, satin enamels um, in white. So, uh, let's see. Got some kind of cool effects here. I didn't stop to think about what was gonna happen to the actual blowout. Um, once I started spinning, uh, what happened was it got me a bunch of extra cells and a bunch of really stretched out blowout. I uh, didn't like the middle that I got with my flick and spin, so I got after it with a blowed up glove and then with a straw. And that is the result of that, and I like that okay. Um, the flick and spin is cool, but that paint goes a long ways. Um, I got a couple of cool little unicorny looking um, spirals like this one right here and those surrounding it are pretty cool. Um, that's where a big blob landed and there wasn't enough paint to tip off so that will just be there as a reminder that blobs happen. Um, I do like this. I think it is very interesting, and it was certainly fun. It's something I would like to do again, and thank you, Nate Bright, for um, giving me the the clue about Harmony House. Um, I had subscribed to them, but as is often the case, it kind of got lost, so I am now, I now rang their bell, too, so that's great, and I really like this, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, too. I'll be back with the dry results. And here are our dry results. Um, this is our satin enamel Prussian blue blowout flick and spin. Um, I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, decided I'd bring you outside where the snow is to see this rather frosty looking little deal. Look at that unicorn horn. Look at it. This turned out really good. I uh, didn't know what to expect because I've never flicked and spun. But uh, I think it turned out pretty cool. So here we are. No real sparkle to speak of. Didn't really put anything in it to shine. Just wanted it to shine on its own. And it looks pretty cool next to the snow.